So my name is Kelly Williams. Um, I'm an artist and I paint primarily with encaustic paint. I use torches and heat and do everything from large scale abstract works to small and figurative stuff as well. So my background um, is in psychology and by working with some traumatized children in my field at the time, I used to use art as a form of communicating with them. I use lots of different uh, uses of colors and shapes as ways for them to explore their emotional status. There came a point in my own life where I needed to do some of that work myself. A friend handed me a paintbrush and said, maybe you should give this a shot. And I did, and I was terrible. And I did it anyway, and I kept doing it, and I kept doing it. So here it is 15 years later, and uh, I've, I've not only changed my skill set in general, but um, now I've incorporated both my psychology background with my painting procedures so that I can help other people. So the process of what I do involves uh, heating up the, the paint um, because it's a uh, hard, you know, wax uh, uh, cubes. I make my own paint and then it goes into cans that go onto a hot palette. Once that palette hits a certain temperature, the paint becomes molten. I brush the paint onto the board because I paint on uh, generally birch ply. Every layer has to be heated um, for it to bond the layer below it. I use uh, propane torches, I use old hot irons, heat guns. Each, each tool is almost like using a different paintbrush. When you're using fire, things shift and move and there's a lack of control, but then you've also got this ability to go back in with carving tools and other ways to like create what it is that you're after. And the level of unpredictability is always this chaos that you're having to manage and it can just bloom into some of the most beautiful color combinations, textures, um, lots of areas of interest. And then it's a matter of kind of dancing with it and figuring out how do you then contain that in a way that's following your vision. So it really does lend itself to a lot of emotional processing work. I think it really allows for a very uh, visceral experience because you're using fire, you're seeing that wax melts and re, re you know, uh, attach and re, re -config configure. I'm like almost talking. I talk out loud. I'll get going with two hands. If I've got some really, you know, juicy stuff happening, um, it is not a meticulous and I'm just not a meticulous kind of painter and that can be really exciting and um, and you can bury things within the layers and the luminosity is is uh, phenomenal there's so much depth because of the way the light hits the wax and then you know uh, reflects back in and all those little things in the early layers can show through depending on how you approach the piece I was in a place in my life where I was watching a lot of people talk, you know, between politics, relationships, you know, everything that's happening in our community right now. And people were like, well, this is the right way to fix this. This is the right way to live. This is the right way to have a relationship. This is the right way to parent. And I did a piece and it's in the style of the magnetic tile puzzles that we used to play with as kids. And instead of making a puzzle that was solvable, um, I chose to make one that wasn't solvable because there is no right way to do any one thing. No matter which piece you move within the concept of this piece, there'll always be a connection, there'll always be a disconnection. Every movement creates a brand new piece, a brand new solution, and also then requires another resolution to occur. Everybody was like, what's the right way? What's the right way? And I'm like, there is no right way. This is all about you taking power over how you want to move things around and then how do you want to express it and knowing that it's not going to be perfect and it's not meant to be. The idea of doing a collaboration with another completely different kind of artist uh, scares the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the idea of working with somebody else is always fascinating because I'm definitely one that likes to play with other things. Um, the idea of working with somebody else will be a complete challenge. It could be a complete disaster. <laughs> you know, I don't know how well we'll be able to communicate. Um, you know, and egos get involved. Like I want to do, you know, my thing and I'm sure they're going to want to do their thing and trying to find that place where the two of us can connect and cross over and try to find something that makes both of us better, I think is really an exciting concept. That's great.